Microplastics are plastic particles, fibers or fragments of less than five millimeter in size. They are small enough that they can get taken up or eaten by organisms such as fish or water flea and then once they're in the food chain they can eventually end up being eaten by humans. Our teams are becoming increasingly integrated because Stefan's work is looking at how the particles get released into the environment and then how they're transported um, and where the hotspots for accumulation are. We are really proud of this system which is pretty unique in the whole of uh, the UK and, and actually in Europe. So we basically run two different types of systems here. These are the small recirculating flumes. We have more than a hundred of them. It gives us the opportunity to actually simulate a very wide range of different environmental conditions, different flow rates, temperatures, light exposure, as well as different uh, uh, biotic conditions. Slightly larger systems really study the impact on relatively complex food web of uh, different uh, species that are inhabiting that flume. And then my work takes over in the sense of once we know where they're accumulating, we can determine which organisms are likely to be exposed to them and therefore where they might impact on ecosystems or ecosystem services. Water fleas are one of the model organisms we use to look at the health impacts of microplastics. So water fleas have a nice transparent body, so we can actually see the microplastics inside in their digestive tract. The water fleas also occupy a really important niche in the food chain, so we're using them to look to see are the microplastics themselves harmful, whether any plasticizers or chemicals that they release are harmful to the organisms, or also so whether they bind anything to their surface and carry it in with them to the organisms. So there's lots of different mechanisms by which the microplastics could be harmful to Daphnia. We are particularly interested in studying how particles are breaking down along their flow path but also how they react with the biota in waterways, how, for instance, biofilms are growing along them and are changing the transport properties. This lab is very much set up for characterization of nanoparticles and microparticles. So the sorts of things that we characterize in here include the size of them, their shape, their surface chemistry, what they absorb, what they interact with in the environment, and then how that influences what gets taken up into organisms. There are these instruments in industry but we're the only university in Europe at the moment that has this single cell, single particle ICPMS. We are also studying how potentially sources uh, for microplastics like wastewater treatment plant outputs or uh, runoff from road surfaces can be intercepted in order to prevent sources of microplastics to be connected to receptor systems. Key research questions for the future are to design new materials that have less impact on aquatic ecosystem services and human health. For me the big one is whether this exposure to microplastics is actually going to translate into potentially new diseases or more prevalence of existing diseases related to environmental exposure.